It's kind of like a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires. Billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk hopes to one day cure neurological conditions in humans. His newest project, Neuralink, plans to link the human brain to a computer to allow people to control their physical movements or manipulate machines via the power of thought. But how exactly does Neuralink work? Gertrude, thanks for coming out. In August, Musk unveiled Gertrude, a little pig with a coin-sized computer chip in its brain. So this is a healthy and happy pig with an implant that is two, month old, two months old and working well. Yeah. Neuralink's device is a small coin-sized sensor that is connected to many tiny wires, each of them smaller than a human hair. Those wires sit close to the neurons and record their activity. With many brain conditions, such as paraplegia or Alzheimer's disease, the signaling in the brain is not working properly. What Neuralink ultimately hopes to do is not only record and read brain activity, but also stimulate it to allow those brain areas to work properly again. Musk has not provided a timeline for those treatments. He seems to have retreated from earlier statements that human trials would begin by the end of 2020. Neuroscientists said the Three Little Pigs demo indicated that Neuralink has made great strides, but cautioned that longer studies were needed. But in order to understand how far Neuralink has come, we need to go back to its beginning. Neuralink was founded in 2016 by Elon Musk and eight other scientists. The company has actually been pretty quiet up until the summer of 2019, when they for the first time revealed what they've been working on. Neuralink has raised $158 million in funding to date, 100 million of which have come from Musk himself. Elon Musk has frequently warned about what he believes to be the risks of artificial intelligence. He fears that artificial life forms or robots will one day become more intelligent than human beings and overpower and destroy humanity. I think even in a benign AI scenario, we will be left behind. Um, and so, and hopefully it is a benign scenario, um, but I think with um, a high bandwidth brain machine interface, I think we can actually go along for the ride um, and we can effectively have the option of merging with AI. I think this is extremely important. Startups such as Kernel, Paradromics and Neuropace are also trying to create devices similar to Neuralink. Medical device giant Medtronic PLC already produces brain implants to treat Parkinson's disease. The field of brain-machine interface science is actually a pretty new one, and only in the last five years or so have more investors and companies taken an interest in it. That's largely thanks to the fact that over the past few years we have seen significant advancements in chip design, signaling technology and material research. That allowed scientists to find materials that can remain in the brain for a long time without the risk of being rejected or causing tissue to scar. 